Right, so guys, here we've got uh, that roof spoiler sort of situated where it would normally go. Okay, now obviously it wants lining up, but just to give you an idea of if you can see how it goes on. Sorry, that's how it goes on, and if you can see, there's just a little bit of a slight warp. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in a two-part video and I'm going to show you how to get rid of that wall okay so um, it needs to be lined up properly and you know as you can see we're not getting it lined up but you know it's probably going to sit something like that that's a lot closer to where it's going to be and as you can see it matches the carbon fibre um, M4 style Batman um, it's called the Batman for various reasons as you can see but you can see the contrast between that and the one that's already there you see look at the difference that makes it's just a perfect complement to that rear boot spoiler that Batman that we've got on the back there and if any of you are interested in purchasing one of these, um, XUK is where I purchased this, um, formerly known as Xenons. Um, they're down in Bradford, I believe. They have some amazing items down there, but that's where I purchased this. Um, this one I purchased from a guy in Stockton on Tees, which is close to where I live in the northeast of England. But as you can see, um, you know, I've got the, the black vinyl wrap on the top, which is going to get done. So I'll be getting that vinyl roof wrapped first before I put this spoiler on. But as you can see, um, you can see how that looks. You know, it look a lot better once it's uh, full time in situ because this is getting tiger sealed on the same as that boot spoiler. That's tiger sealed. Um, no tape and that is also going to be tiger sealed so it just gives you a rough idea of what it's going to look like I am going to do a second video after the install um, but as I say it's not sitting well on the car at the moment it does go a little bit flatter than that but what, we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a like a like a strap you know like a, a loading strap go through the doors and once this is tiger sailed down I'll put like a, a strap on here and I'll uh, I'll strap it down tight and make sure it stays in place but uh, that gives you an idea of what they look like uh, carbon fibre it also matches the carbon fibre exhaust tips that I've got which are a little bit messy at the minute but uh, that hopefully will give you some idea of what it looks like like I say it's just a subtle touch but it makes a lot of difference I think it sets the car out from the rest without it so But as I say, um, I'm going to get a ratchet strap on here um, and prep all the window and prep everything else. And once the tiger sails on here, I'll use a ratchet strap to get this sat in place um, and to get it bonded on properly. And uh, But that'll be in a separate video and hopefully show you guys what this looks like when it's all sat in place. But there you go, that is the carbon fibre weave uh, roof spoiler or rear window spoiler um, which also goes with the carbon fibre uh, M4 style Batman spoiler uh, 
and that's probably closer to how it's going to look on that side so it's got that nice little delve there and it's also closed in at the back as well you may not be able to see but you know it's not a, there you go it's not a hollow spoiler it's carbon fiber all the way through you know front and underside and it's just got that nice contour some some of the other ones doesn't have this contour they just come further out and they drop straight down and I didn't like that style I like this style where it gives you that lovely contour on that spoiler retails for about £103 and for a full carbon fibre product I don't think that's bad at all way better than a hydro dip carbon fibre look way better and you can always tell the difference between real carbon fibre and hydro dip as you can see you can see that imperfection in the clear coat you can see all the fibre twill through that reflection but as I say this roof is going to get redone before um, it'll either get re-wrapped or it'll get repainted in black gloss I haven't found a good enough carbon fibre wrap which looks like real carbon fibre to put on so um, unfortunately um, you know it's going to have to stay black gloss at the moment until um, I can get a really good fibre fibre glass sorry carbon fibre looking <coughs> excuse me um, roof wrap but that's basically what the spoiler looks like when it's in situ and like I say I'll do a second part of this video once it's all on and I'll show you the cleaned polished and what have you so let me show you what I'm going to use to put this on with <coughs> 